Oh, hi there. I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out the UK into your homes. Welcome. Morning, good night, good afternoon, depending on what time it is in your part of the world. Um, welcome to my channel. You're free to subscribe, you're free to share, you're free to like. Don't dislike. But yeah, um, I wanted to talk about WhatsApp because this is everybody, well, nearly everybody uses WhatsApp. And would you believe they're talking about after the 31st of to, to, after the 31st of December 2019, the app that allows us to contact our peeps around the world for free, WhatsApp has revealed that its app will stop working on Windows smartphones this month, the 31st of December. WhatsApp said you'll no longer be able to use all Windows phone operating systems after the 31st of December 2019. While the app is currently available on select Windows smartphones, it will stop being available on December 31st. And the end of support doesn't end there. WhatsApp will also stop working on several Android smartphones and iPhones in the, common month, in the coming months. From the 1st of February 2020, people using Android versions 2.3.7 and older will no longer be able to create new accounts or re-verify existing accounts. Meanwhile, iPhones running on iOS 8 and older will also stop being able to create new accounts or re-verify existing accounts from February the 1st. If you have a Windows smartphone and don't want to lose all your chats on December the 31st, thankfully there's a fairly simple way to save your chat history. Open the chat you wish to export and tap on group info. Scroll down and tap export chat. You'll then be given the option to download the chat with or without media. Note the attaching media will generate a larger chat archive. Metro says WhatsApp has announced it will soon stop working on millions of phones around the world as they reach the end of their supported lifespan. That means users on a variety of older handsets could end up losing access to the messaging app. Facebook-owned WhatsApp has confirmed via its support page that it will stop supporting these devices on December the 31st, 2019. You know why I think they're doing that? Because the older phones, on the older phones, they can't track you. On the newer phones, they've got biometrics, haven't they? They've got all of these devices to know what you're doing, how you're doing it, who you're talking to, who you're not talking to. The older phones don't have that. So that is why they're stopping it on the older phones. I don't know how new, I don't know what 2.3.7 is. I don't know how new that is. Um... The, com the company says that any phone running the Windows Mobile operating system will not be supported after this date. However, that's not all. I've already said that, haven't I? Um, the iOS and Android blocks won't happen this month, but it will take place on the 1st of February 2020. So which phones won't work? The last iPhone released running iOS 7 were the iPhone 5S and the iPhone 5C back in 2013. It was, super, it was superseded by iOS 8 in 2014. So if you bought an iPhone or an iPad, after that date, you're going to be fine. Whew. I'm fine. WhatsApp says, while these mobile devices have been an important part of our history, they don't offer the kind of capabilities we need to expand our app's features in the future. Yeah, right. They need to start fast in our people's business. That's what I want. Oh. This was a tough decision for us to make, but the right one in order to give people better ways to keep in touch with friends, family and loved ones using WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Get out the harp. Get out the harp. If you use one of these effective mobile devices, we recommend upgrading to a newer Android phone, iPhone or Windows phone to continue using WhatsApp, as well as ditching older system. WhatsApp is focused on adding new features for current systems. It is currently working on a dark mode, which should help reduce its battery usage a bit. 
Who cares? But it's not available for general release. WhatsApp doesn't stop amazing us, continuing to improve with new features like battery saver option. The blog wrote, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who cares? Anyway, basically, you're going to need a new newer phone um, if you want to use WhatsApp. So all of you who have thought that you could get away with being tracked and you thought that, okay, by having an older phone, you know, you're safe kind of thing, not anymore. So like I said, I think providing you've bought a phone after 2015, I think you're okay. Um, can't imagine many people having a phone before them, but you never know. Some people have got some old, old phones, you know. But yeah, so that's all for now. And I'm going to stop there. Bye-bye.